Hi everyone and welcome back. This is our day number three and today's topic is Rhythm Bounce. Rhythm Bounce is probably the easiest step in Samba because all you do is just you bounce in the rhythm of Samba music. So let's start by learning um, just by bringing feet together, the, the easiest way. Bring your feet together and start bending and straightening your knees. Just like this. One and one and one and one. And this is your rhythm bounce. Nothing more, nothing less. Just that. You don't move feet. You just move your body in the rhythm of samba. And then straighten and bend in your knees. That is your rhythm bounce. How can you use that? Where can you use that? You can use uh, your rhythm bounce when you step to the side and you're, you're standing on one leg and the other leg is free and then you do rhythm bounce here. Re um, straighten and bend in your knees and one. Just like that, on one leg or the other leg, one. A two, a one, a two, a one. Just this. Or you can step to the side, cross your feet, and do rhythm bounce with both feet together, crossed, just like at the end of the whisk. And you just keep moving without moving your feet. And on the other side as well, we just did a whisk, and this is the rhythm bounce. Okay, just that. To the side, with legs apart, and with crossed legs with crossed legs this is a rhythm bounce when you don't move your feet or you can go side and move your leg up away and just continue moving in place or here on the other side and one and two so this is a rhythm bounce okay so um why do you need rhythm bounce is to wait for a good phrase, uh, for a good um, time to start your uh, next move. For example, you are earlier and you want to start on one. So you have one, a two, three, a four, and five, a six, a seven, a eight, and you start on one, a two, three, a four, a five, a six, seven, a eight. Or you want to uh, not move for a little bit and just catch up the breath because you, you've been so tired. You can do rhythm bounce as well. So you do whisk and whisk and whisk and then maybe basic and a basic and a basic and you just want to catch your breath and just not move your feet, but just um, keeping the rhythm in your body without taking a break and just standing. You would never do that on the dance floor. As, so, as long as music playing, you want to keep moving. So this rhythm bounce is perfect for that. Okay, and another one is when you dance. You dance your whisk and your basic, side basic, progressive basic, and then you move too much, it's too many steps, and you just want to break this movement, and you just not move your feet and stay in place, and just do that. This is the rhythm bounce. Here we go. It's a very useful step, because um, you don't always want to move your feet but if you're standing in place and keeping the rhythm this is dancing everybody can do that everybody doing that not learning it just when you hear the music you just want to move your body not necessarily moving your feet if you don't know how so but in samba there's a specific name for it it's called rhythm bounce okay so this is it for day number three Thank you for joining us and I will see you tomorrow.